So I'm here at Kikyo Harasan's, and this is what he's got outside of his uh, greenhouses in the bush behind his house. And keep in mind, he has cut each one of these branches and stacked them. They need watering and uh, inoculation, and there's literally hundreds of thousands of them. I was talking to him and he's saying that the, because the population in Japan is getting older, um, he's not able to get the help that he used to be able to get from farmers during the winter who had free time. Uh, they're just not interested because of their age in helping out in the winter cutting trees. So he's having to work harder and harder to keep this and maintain it. But uh, um, so this is what he set up outside, and uh, I've got another video of him and the, of this, this stuff in the greenhouse. These uh, logs last uh, seven years out here outside, and uh, uh, he doesn't have to do much with these ones that are outside, but the ones in the, in the greenhouse produce more, but they last only three or four years. And he's having to constantly put them in baskets and soak them. He's got a soaking tub for the logs. Actually, you can see the baskets on, on this one right here that he soaks the logs in the tub with. He's got a little forklift that he'll lift, lift the uh, basket with and uh, dunks them into the uh, pond for a half day to uh, get them wet to uh, bear fruit and uh, in talking to Kikyo Harasan he was saying that uh, the climate change here the increase in temperature has really had a uh, uh, negative impact on his um, mushroom production mushrooms like cool uh, wet humid weather and the heat here has increased significantly in the last 10 years and he's finding it more and more difficult to do this work and get some production but this is how shiitake mushrooms are made and uh, Kyo Harasan is one of the best people at it he's been at it for 50 years and he's pretty pretty well known for his production techniques and quality of his uh, mushrooms <laughs>